For chapter 6.2, it is more uh, for civil engineering works. It's about the groundwater extraction and exploration. Okay, this is uh, something that is technical when you've been given a task to make, to do the extraction of groundwater. A lot of things need to be done, especially you need to explore first your area, whether that place has groundwater, enough groundwater for you to do the extraction and you need, must calculate something whether that extraction will actually serve the community for that particular extraction. Okay, uh, before that, you need to do some groundwater exploration. Okay, all of this is the thing that you want to do as civil engineer. So, for the purpose of exploration is to enable the hydrogeological condition to be investigated in as detailed as fashion as necessary to meet the requirement of the project. So, client akan bagi project, you lah yang kena carry out semua benda-benda technical ni lah. Okay, what are the technical things? Okay, sebab tujuan utama ialah client, dia tak ada expertise dan juga skill dan juga knowledge berkaitan. So, dia akan assign engineer dan juga consultant untuk buat kerja-kerja exploration dan juga extraction ni. So, as engineer, this is all the thing that you need to do before you go uh, for the um, for the real project to execute the project. The first one is that study. Okay, you need to gather all the information before you go to site. You need to find your map. You need to find your uh, your map from mungkin Jabatan Uko. Uh, you need to find your hydro uh, your hydrology data and so on and and of course you need to to explore whether you have uh, accessible road road or something that you need to to know before you start the project so and then uh, this one you can gather and then you get all the information before you go to the site second you do the feasibility study collection analysis of additional data uh, maybe you need to also uh, find out about the authority, whether you can get uh, the permission to do the exploration work and so on. And of course, uh, in terms of pilot study, you will be doing site investigation and subsequent action. And the last one will be the development. For for field recognition or the simpler, simple what we call it as a, a site recce, so this is uh, all the information that you need to gather on site. For example, topography atau pembentuk muka bumi, geology. Of course, you need to know the photogeological interpretation and field control allow preparation. Okay, ini you dah buat geological map, so at least you dah ada idea eh, uh, apakah map yang you perlukan supaya you boleh dapat uh, bentuk muka bumi di dalam dalam tanah tu. So you can make interpretation interpretation whether kawasan situ ada air ataupun tidak and then you need to to have this hydrogeology this is a three dimensional uh, representation of the subsurface hydrogeology regime would be greatly assisted by field measurement and determination of the following so kita belajar uh, ni memang topik khas hydrogeology kan saya pun dah mention sikit beberapa uh, maklumat tadi Tapi kita sama eh, yang you perlukan adalah precipitation and evaporation, location, elevation and discharge of spring and seepage. Okay, kita kena tahu eh, kalau boleh lah eh, punca kat mana air bawah tanah ni uh, dan juga kat mana dia punya flow dan adakah dia ada outlet kan. So, kita boleh kira um, macam mana dia recharge. Maksudnya bila you buat extraction ambil air dalam Tanah ni bukannya dia tak akan berkurang eh. Dia akan berkurang untuk satu waktu. Tapi dia akan penuh balik eh. Sebab tu kita cakap groundwater ni ada recharge. Okay macam awak boleh bayangkan lah eh. Air zam zam kan. Dia tak pernah kering eh. Dia bukannya masa kita ambil air zam zam tu. Air tu tak 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 turun dia punya kedalaman. Tapi dia punya proses untuk ada balik air tu sangat cepat. And then you need to know about the stream discharge, evidence of saline, saline and alkaline soil. Of course, kita kena tahu dia punya kualiti lah sama dia ada bergaram ataupun alkaline soil. Distribution of vegetation types, uh, location of well and measurement of water level and abstraction. So, this is um, very technical and this is more into hydrogeology. 
for groundwater exploration techniques of course uh, last time you do map tree and then there's mention about bohol kan so uh, one method that you can do is okay to make bohol and then you can explore whether inside uh, the earth uh, you really have this kind of hydrogeological uh, this groundwater strata so hydrogeological exploration which consists of regional geology maps local geology maps or field maps geomorphology slash topography air photo and satellite imaginary hydrology and hydrogeological data and for geophysical exploration Okay, uh, the first one is more towards geological exploration. But number two is more towards geophysical exploration. So you need, uh, you can use all of these methods, which is seismic, electrical resistivity, electromagnetic methods, gravity, drilling, borehole logging. So all of this is um, basically methods, but depends on what are the data that you want to have. So these are all the types of data that you might want to have before you do the extraction. So this is geological map, you have hydrogeological data, you have field mapping, geomorphology, area photograph and so on. So this is type of exploration. Okay, uh, there are different methods um, by geologists and civil engineer like so all of this has its own pro and cons uh, in terms of the easiness of doing all of these things so of course you, when you see this bohole lodging you know you need to bring in uh, missionaries and you need to have uh, skilled workers to do the drilling project and so on for groundwater extraction okay this is uh, something maybe you ha have experience to extract water from groundwater or uh, from uh, in Malaysia we call it as well ataupun telaga ataupun piringgi lah okay, water well usually have the form of vertical bores or shaft and though they may have more of horizontal nature where special circumstances require infiltration galleries or collector wells so this is uh, all the information about wells lah you boleh baca a few points here so this is are uh, the types of well that you can actually uh, do on site the simply the simplified is you bring machineries you dig a hole and then you uh, have the existing of groundwater so you can uh, definitely do the extraction okay uh, this is uh, the case that you have in in one particular area uh, with different aquifer area so for well construction, in principle, the percussion or cable to method use chisel, edge, pit, and lift and drop motion to cut into the rock by impact. Uh, ni macam gerudi lah. Instead of gerudi dinding yang awak nak sangkutkan gambar ke apa ni, kita gerudi dalam tanah lah. So then you will have that kind of well. So uh, you need to know the tools used. And all of this information you can read. Uh, for example, the last point is, in any event, some 50 meter of casing is desirable and it is mandatory in some countries, which is combined with cement grouting to prevent contamination from the surface of near surface water. Drilling ni um, bukan yang kita bayangkan nak, nak, nak apa, gali tiga kaki dalam, kepat kaki, gali kaki dalam. Sometimes you will drill uh, really deep inside the earth so bila dah sangat dalam ni kita kena ada casing eh, uh, supaya air uh, yang tercemar tak masuk dalam you punya well so this is uh, one method percussion or cable tool method ok number 2 you have what we call as rotary method ini drilling juga tapi kita gunakan method rotary maksudnya mata gerudi tu akan dia macam screw kan dia akan berputar sebab tu dipanggil sebagai rotary method so you can uh, read all the explanation here 
and this is how in terms of visual visual the drilling process so for in situ testing methods there are several testing technique for determining permeability in situ okay number one single and double packer number two large scale pumping test number three large scale pumping test uh, used for aquifer test and then transient tests which include drill stem tests, slug tests, pulse and sinusoidal tests, packer injection and packer pumping. So this is uh, the method that you can use for groundwater extraction. So in the first part, we introduce all about groundwater, types of groundwater, aquifer, aqui includes aquitats and then uh, different types of confined and unconfined aquifer and uh, what kind of aquifer that you have in uh, igneous rock formation metamorphic rock formation and sedimentary rock formation and the second part we discuss about the equation for Darcy law and the last part is more about to do the extraction and as civil engineer you need to know from A to Z uh, the drilling process is actually the last part of the action that you need to do on site. And of course, after you have uh, do this uh, drilling process and you have made it a very a good in terms of the aesthetic value, okay, next your customer already can use this uh, water uh, from groundwater extraction. Okay, that's all for hydrogeology. Uh, all of that is more related to civil engineering as a civil engineer. Okay, thank you.